Welcome to the Everything One Piece show or episode. I really don't even know what to call it. But like, this is basically a segment on my channel. Everything One Piece is where I talk about this random One Piece topics that come to my head. So it's not like a normal YouTube video that I normally do where I write some stuff and then I do a video about it. Like this stuff is just going straight off the dome. I'm just talking about random topics. All One Piece topics that just come to my head. I just give my raw thoughts on them. So like, let's get into it. So like, the first topic that I want to talk about on the episode is basically, which is better? Hockey or Devil Fruit? Like, like this is a, this is a thing that's always talked about in the fan base. And I think, for me, I think it's like a no-brainer answer. I feel like hockey is power more powerful than devil fruit because like we go back to what Kaido said talking about how hockey transcends all and like all this other stuff but like take away take away the devil fruits take away everything else man and like if you just watch Luffy's journey like the journey hasn't be, been because like he got this and that he got to where he's at because of his devil fruit like, for anybody, a true One Piece fan that's been truly watching the story since the beginning, they know that Luffy has got where he at, man, because his tenacity, his will. And, like, it's been explained, like, a couple times in the story, man. Like, for some people, like, the devil fruit, like, carries, though. Like, let's go back to Caribou. Like, Caribou, when we first met him with Fishman Island, like, he was an OP Logia user. And, like, he was just used to getting his way. And then, like, whenever he encountered, like, a regular or a fairly medium devil, uh, hockey user, he got defeated like he was nothing. I remember, like, at the end of Fishman Island, like, Caribou got defeated like he was nothing by Peckham's. And then Peckham said something, man. He said, man, most devil fruit users, Logia especially, man, they think they invincible, man. When they come to a new world, they don't really last that long. So, like... That just shows you, like, hockey is obviously more powerful. Like, and the main reason I feel like hockey is more powerful because, like, a couple times in the story when, like, people was relying on their, like, devil fruit powers and stuff, like, and stuff like that. And then for the most powerful people, like, Oda mentioned, like, it's not the devil fruit that makes them like this. The, more, the devil fruit is more like an extension of their will. Like, I remember when Blackbeard, I remember when Blackbeard was trying to kidnap boy Hancock's devil fruit. And he was like, bro, and the Hancock was like, man, it's not, it's not my devil fruit that makes me so beautiful and all this other stuff. It's me. It's my old beauty that turn people into stone. Like, for the most powerful people that use devil fruit are, like, the most powerful people in the One Piece world that have devil fruits. It's not mainly their devil fruits that make them super powerful. It's the more, like, the devil fruits are more of an extension upon them. Like, they're the ones that can do all these incredible things with the devil fruit because it's an extension of who they are. Like, so, like, I think that's the main, that's the main thing that people should get out. Like, why devil fruit, why... Uh, hockey transcends all like even you have a powerful devil fruit you have a devil fruit the true most powerful people are the people who use a, the, the devil fruit as an extension of their self an extension of their self is their will which is hockey all right so like that's it with that topic so like another topic i wanted to talk about was if Nami has conquered hockey like at the end of the water arc well in the transition to the egghead arc after a Wano arc, like I was like I want to talk about like whether Nami has conquered hockey. So it's like so so for people that don't know, like after the Wano arc, Nami like not locked uh Luffy inside a cage, right? Because he basically put them all in jeopardy by jumping off the cliff cliff trying to show up Law and Kid. And Nami like locked him in a cage, man. And then Jimbe said something to her, man. She was like, bro, Jimbe, don't you stand up for him, man. And then the aura that was coming over here, like, she was, her body was in flames, like, and Jim Bay was like, is this Conqueror's Hockey? And if you go back and look at the panel, man, you was like, it was like a black lightning emanating all of her, off of her. So I was like, man, like, to be honest, man, I feel like, is this like a thing that Oda does as a gag to foreshadow something else later down the line? Because I remember there's a couple things, like, he foreshadowed as like a gag at first or something that people didn't take seriously, like, when Luffy first met Momonosuke, like, and Momonosuke was asking, how do I change back? And Luffy was like, I don't know. I'm not a Zoe user. And, like, later on, hundreds, 400, 500 chapters later, 
we figured out that Luffy has a Zoe devil fruit. Another instance of that is basically after the Fish Bay Island arc. And Jim Bay was talking to uh, the rest of the crew saying that Blackbeard is going after devil fruit users powerful devil fruit users or whatever and then like chopper was like uh i'm scared he might take my fruit and then usa man you're bro your shit is just a human human fruit man nobody wants that and then we know like later down the line man we learned that the types of the zone human human fruit models are one of the most like the rarest types of devil fruits out there so like it's still we still don't know like the true extent of what hockey or congress hockey could do because basically we remember back, oh, at least I remember back in Eddie's lobby, Zoro was using Conqueror's hockey and we didn't even know it. Like the little move where he made like illusions with himself with his old hockey. And like that's that's a use with hockey we haven't seen anyone else use in the story, really. So like, man, we, there's a lot of stuff we don't know. In my opinion, I feel as though like this is Dobby using her own kind of Conqueror's hockey because we don't. We don't know the full power of hockey or Congress hockey and what it can do. And like, I might talk about that in another video, another Everything One Piece video and talk more about that. But for now, like, that's it about the subject. So, like, another topic I wanted to talk about, man. Like, 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 I'm just going off the note. What's another topic I want to talk about, man? Like, another topic that I wanted to talk about is basically how long will one piece last i feel as though one piece we do it realistically man like i look at the story man it's a very long story like wano art was four years i remember i saw a youtube comment and the guy this dude whoever it was was saying man he was like i came into college as a freshman and then i graduated man and the wano arc is still going on man and we haven't even gotten to the void century. I remember Otis flashback. Otis flashback was like 20 chapters and it lasted like a long time. So we get to the void century flashback. The void century flashback might be like a year or two. Wano was like four years. So like we get to the final arc, man. Like I feel as like though the story probably not going into like 2032, man. 2032, 2034, man. Like so we had a long ride for One Piece. Like. This story, this is a long story, man. Like, I knew going into it when I first watched it as a kid, like, it could be a long story because, like, this is based on traveling from one island to another, man. So, like, I just always assume, man, this story about to be a long freaking story, man. So, I just, I just always, like, thought about it, One Piece being a long story, man. So, like, for now, this is it for the episode of Everything One Piece. This is, like, a weekly thing that I'm trying to do. Like, this is a normal, like, video. Like, I just talk about One Piece and stuff like that. And then it's something I can do almost every day of the week. So tune in for more everything One Piece episodes, bro. For now, don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. Well, anyway, fearless joy out. Till next time, deuces.